first I want to say hi to our international English speaking international system brothers and friends. My first time, I think really uh, went abroad. It's 1979. After my Form 7, I went to Minnesota to have my uh, undergraduate studies. And at that time, 1979, the Chinese restaurants were mainly chop soy restaurants. No, not chop soy restaurants, it's not really Chinese, right? And there were maybe one oriental grocery store. That's about it. And it's homesick. You know, at the time, we have no email. When you make call, it's long distance international call. You only have three minutes. And after three minutes, you have to think what you have to say. Otherwise, after the first three minutes, they start counting by seconds. As I was growing up overseas, I saw myself more as an international person, international identity. I don't see myself as a Hong Kong person, a Chinese person, because I was like in and out. I think we have, must have some kind of really mutual appreciation of the different cultures. We must do our best not to use our own experience, our own perspective to judge the other culture. In order to understand, we must be able to, to appreciate. Unity and plurality, right? So we need to be able to appreciate pluralities and cultures, understand, and then so that we can come together. This is international community. Actually, I asked to have this video done because uh, I want to include the English-speaking community. That you are really much part of our church here, our faith community here. You are part of our church here in Hong Kong. I know that we can do better. We can make you feel more involved, included. We are all learning. We need to all become better. And I hope that you will feel more at home with us. And also I've learned that our expatriate community, the way you celebrate faith is more lively, more dynamic. And I appreciate that. And I hope this will also help us to have a more dynamic, lively faith life.